All right, so this is a very simple question. The question is find the values of A and B. Okay, first, let me read the question. It says, let f of x be equal to x to the power three plus ax squared plus bx plus c. If the stationary points of f of, f of x are three comma f of x and negative one comma f of negative one, find the values of a and b. Then number two says, if the maximum value of f of x is seven, find the value of c and then determine the maximum point of f of x. So these simple are straight, I mean, these questions are simple and straightforward. Okay. So we've been given f of x. Okay, let me just write it down. So we have been given f of x, which is um, x to the power three, plus ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is what you have been given. And then um, we've been asked to find the values of a and b. Yeah, because we've been given two stationary points. We don't know whether these points are maximum, minimum, or uh, point of inflection. So how do we now find the values of a and b? One thing you have to understand is that at stationary point, the gradient of any given curve or any given function is equal to zero. So the gradient is simply the first deriv the derivative of uh, any given function. So when we find f prime of x, this gives us what? The gradient function of this uh, equation that has been given here. So when you differentiate a x to the power three, we'll get three x squared. Differentiate uh, a x squared, we're getting two a, x differentiate bx we're getting b yeah so differentiate a constant c we're getting a zero so at this point when x is equal to three according to the question let me just be pointing what i'm writing and so what i'm saying is that when x is equal to three the value of y is f of three so this is our first stationary point. And at this point, we know that the gradient is equal to zero. This is our second stationary point. And at this point, we know that the gradient is also equal to what? Zero. So here, what is, um, we start with the first one. So again, say when X is equal to three. So at the first stationary points there, when X is equal to three. So we find the gradient function at the point where X is equal to three. So we find F prime of three. And this will give us three times uh, three squared plus two a three plus b. And then we say this is equal to what? We're going to equate this to zero because we know to say this is a stationary point and at stationary point, the gradient function is equal to zero. So now we can solve this part. We can uh, simplify this part. So three squared gives us nine times three, we're getting 27. Then we have two times three, that will give us six. And of course, a. Then we have plus b, and this is good, equal to zero. So simplifying this further, we can have, okay, let me just leave it here at the moment. Okay, so we can also pick the other um, stationary point where x is equal to negative one. So you can say when x is equal to negative one, f prime of negative one gives us what? Three negative one squared plus two a, negative one plus B. We say this is also equal to zero because it's a stationary point. So simplifying this will give us three plus, oh, sorry, this would be a negative because two times negative one gives us negative two A. Then we say plus B which is equal to zero. So, what we can just do here to make our work easy. In other words, what I'm trying to say is we solve this equation and that equation simultaneously. So now to work, to make our work easy, we can make one of these letters as, as a substitute value. So I'm going to make this B as a substitute value. Meaning I'm going to have B being equal to, and I take everything this side on the right, I'm going to get um, six, negative six A and negative 27. 
So this same equation is what I'm going to replace there. So I'm going to have three minus two a plus negative uh, six a minus 27. And this will be equal to zero. So from there, the next thing that we need to do is just to simplify the question and find the value of a. So how do we simplify that? We put the like terms together. So I have three and negative 27. When you put them together, you're going to get 24 as the solution there. I mean negative 24, three minus 27, that would be negative 24. So we have negative 24 there. Then we have negative 2a and negative 6a. When you put them together, you are going to get negative 8a and this would be equal to zero. So the next thing that you, that you need to do here is to just find the value of a. So you take this negative 24 to the other side of the equal sign so that you remain with negative 8a here being equal to positive 24. And then when you divide everything by negative eight, negative eight, the value of a becomes uh, 24 divided by negative eight. The answer is negative three. So this is our value of a. Then to find the value of b, you just replace a in the substitute value there. So our b will therefore become negative six, where this a I'm putting negative three, then we say minus 27. So b is therefore going to be negative six times negative three, this would be positive 18, then minus 27. When you subtract these, you get nine as the answer. So this would be negative nine, because you're subtracting a smaller number from, I mean, a bigger number from a smaller number. So the value of A is negative three, the value of B is negative nine. Okay, so let's move on to the next, um, the next um, point, the next question. So we have found the negative nine as B and the negative three as A. So the question proceeds and says, if the maximum, okay, first let me write A here, A is equal to negative three, B is equal to negative nine. If the maximum value of F of X is seven, find the value of C. So we know to say at maximum or the maximum value is found by, okay, let me just write this expression. So we have f of x is equal to, then we have negative three x squared minus nine x plus c. And then they are saying, the maximum value of this, um, of this, um, yeah, of this uh, expression is seven. Find the value of c. So, how do you know which um, which stationary point has a maximum or minimum? You first have to uh, differentiate this equation twice. So when you differentiate it twice, it's going to tell you, using the second derivative test, you can tell whether it has a maximum or minimum value at any point. So if we find the first derivative, we're getting three x squared, then minus six x, then minus nine as the solution. And then from there, you can um, find the second derivative which we're going to use to determine which point gives us maximum or minimum. So this will be x, uh, 6x, then negative 6x as well. This one is a constant to give us a zero when you differentiate. So having been given this, we can now use the values of x to determine which point is maximum or minimum. So the first uh, value of x that we have is when x is equal to three from the first stationary point here. And we also have when x is equal to negative one. So we'll test that one as well. So when x is equal to three, f prime prime of three becomes six times three minus six. And this is um, 18 minus six, that is 12. So the second derivative, if the second derivative, so we say if d2y dx2 is greater than zero, 
means that it has a minimum value. Then if d2y dx2 is less than zero, it has a max um, value. So this expression here at x is equal to three, since d, which is uh, rather since the second derivative f prime prime of three is greater than zero, it means that at the point x is equal to three, this curve is minimum. So meaning the other part there can be, can either be a point of reflection or a maximum. So let us try to test it as well. How do we test? We replace negative one in the expression because that's negative one comma f of negative one. So we put negative one in the expression of the second der derivative there. So say f prime prime of negative one gives us what? This one will give us six times negative one minus six and f prime prime of uh, negative one is giving us what? Negative six minus six, which is um, negative 12. So now if you check negative 12, negative 12 is less than zero. And since it's less than zero, we conclude that at X is equal to negative one, the curve is what? Is at its maximum level. So at maximum value there. So now having known the value of X at maximum, it's easier now for us to find the value of C because at maximum, the value, I mean, the maximum value is uh, seven. So now this is what we're going to use. Well, this X will put negative one. And then um, every after replacing the value of X at that, uh, the, the value of X, which is in the stationary point, at any point, it gives you either the maximum or the minimum value. So the answer that we get after finding F of negative one is the one that we call the maximum value. So in this case, they're trying to say f of negative one gives us what? It gives us seven. So if we replace negative one in the expression, which is this expression here, sorry, not that, not this one, this one here, when we replace it there, the answer that we're going to, that we're supposed to get should be seven. So we do that. So we're going to say uh, negative one to the power three minus three, negative one squared minus nine, negative one plus C, and this is equal to what? Um, seven according to the question. So let's see what we are supposed to do next. Okay, so the next thing that we're supposed to do here is um, we simplify this expression. So we have negative one uh, to the power three gives us negative one and a negative one times to the power two, that's positive one times negative three, that is just negative three. And we have negative one times negative nine, that is positive nine. And say plus C is equal to seven. So from there, the next thing that you need to do here is you simplify this expression. simplifying this expression negative one and negative three gives us negative four plus nine plus c is equal to seven so when you add negative four and nine you get positive five so c is therefore going to be seven minus um five so the value of c is two yeah so they are asking us now to find the last question which is to find um, the minimum value. So the minimum value is simply just found by replacing because the maximum value was at negative one, meaning the other stationary point gives us what? The minimum value. So this one gives us the minimum value. So how do you find the minimum value? You just replace this negative three into what? Into this expression there. So the expression is here. So we just say F of three gives us what? the minimum value. So we put three, what is X minus three X squared minus nine. Sorry, what is X? We're putting three, then minus nine times three 
plus, remember the value of um, C there is now two. So just put two there. So F of three is there for, so this part gives us nine. Uh, even this one gives us nine. Oh, sorry, this one gives us 27. Even this one gives us 27, three squared times three, that is 27 as well. Then we have nine times three. This is, this is also giving us negative 27, then plus two. So when you simplify this, the answer that you get is the solution. So this part and that part gives you a zero. Negative 27 and two, you are going to get negative 25. So the minimum value is negative 25. That is after simplifying this expression.